It might not look much like a flower or smell like one or even sound like one, but the skunk cabbage is arguably a more reliable sign of spring than, say, the groundhog. It comes from the ground, so WTTW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now to explain. Patty, what in the world is a skunk cabbage? <laughs> Well, it's not a skunk, it's not a cabbage. Um, it's actually a flowering plant that's related to the calla lily and things like Jack in the pulpit. And it is one of, if not the first native plant to emerge in the spring in this region. So uh, it might smell like a skunk and doesn't quite look like a flower, but it does have a pretty cool plant superpower. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, well, for one thing, it smells so bad because that's how it attracts pollinators. So that's genius. But its other superpower is called uh, thermogenesis, which means it creates its own heat. And that is actually how it is able to emerge so early. It literally can like melt the snow as it's coming up through the ground because it makes so much of its own heat, which you know, don't we all wish we could do in like February? <laughs> and, and so uh, what are some tips on how to spot one? Well, go, it's, you know, coming low to the ground and it likes water. So looking kind of like wetland marshy areas and it actually will mix in a lot with the leaf litter. It's got this kind of like eggplanty modeled color to it. Um, but the flower itself, I, I almost hate to make this um, comparison looks like the coronavirus. So it's this like ball with these like little spiky things on it. So, so look for that. We all know very well what the coronavirus looks yes. like. So it might be easy oh, to spot cabbage. a skunk cabbage and they smell really quick, a little bit like meat. Uh, like rotting meat. Rotting meat or in skunks. particular. Our skunks. Okay. <laughs> cabbage. Good to know. Patty Wetley, thanks so much. Always with the interesting stories. Sure. And you can read Patty's full story on our website. That's at wttw.com news.